We are here at the Texas Instruments stand at Embedded World 2024, and we are standing in front of their robotics wall. Now, uh, what you are seeing on the screen right now is an Amazon warehouse robot that is actually being used. Uh, this is something that uh, can move around in Amazon warehouses and perform numerous tasks, and there is a bunch of TI stuff inside it that is making it do that. And um, This is a, a breakdown of all of these different parts. Now, um, I am joined by uh, Thomas, who's going to take us through one of the uh, various subsystems that make these robots work. So, Thomas, what, uh, which subsystem do you want to show us and what is it about it that makes it so useful in robotics? Yeah, maybe let's start with the sensing part here. <clears throat> so on the sensing side we see here um, the IWR6843 millimeter wave uh, radar sensor from Texas Instruments um, showcasing um, uh, the possibility to meet the new uh, IEC 61496 test 5 uh, safety standard for safety sensors. And as an example, we have here below uh, the final product from Inexpect showcasing um, safety radar protective device with the IWR6843 radar sensor. Absolutely, and this is something that is uh, key here, is that um, it's all well and good having various parts and sensors and things that you could put into a robotic, but for things, for things to actually work out in the wild, like this Amazon robot, they have to fit with safety compliance, and everything that is uh, on show here, it fits to a safety compliance to a point that it is already in production use in Amazon warehouses, as I have already mentioned. Um, is there anything else about this particular part that you wanted to, uh, to talk about? Um, it's not the only device uh, um, TI has in its portfolio, so we have uh, broad portfolio with radar devices on the 60 gigahertz or on the 77 gigahertz with the processing at the DSP and everything inside but also just the, the radar front end uh, devices that you can do the processing in a central uh, compute. Sure. Well, thank you very much, Thomas. Um, but that's not all we're going to be here to talk about today, because it's all very well and good, the robots having the eyes and the ears to sense what is around them, but there is a lot more involved in robotics, obviously. And so I'm about to speak to Errol, who's uh, going to uh, take us through another one of the subsystems. So Errol, what was it, uh, which subsystem did you want to talk about from the robotics world here? Oh, yes. yes. So um, I would actually like to talk about the motor control side. So okay. just really quick, just to show you guys what we have uh, in general here. Uh, we can look at it within four different areas of technology, right, within robotics. And this is to help with having, like, you know, safer and, like, smarter robots. And that would be the motor control side, the computing side, communications and sensing, you know, which, um, you know, my colleague just went over with the sensing side. Uh, today we'll go over motor control and one of the key things I want to highlight, especially when we're seeing like, you know, smarter, safer robots, but also smaller, like lighter robots is our GAN technology. Exactly. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where um, this actually is showcasing here, our TIDA 010936. It's a single access 48 volt servo uh, drive. Uh, that utilizes our newest GAN device, which has integrated gate driver plus also the GAN FETs on there. And it's in a very small package as well. Um, we can actually see it there within the, the board itself, right? It's in a very small, like I think 4.5 by 5 millimeter package. It has both uh, bottom side and top side cooling. So if you need to go to higher currents, you can do that with the top side as well. Um, but we see this as a, as a trend actually within robotics later on, especially for like collaborative robots where you have smaller spaces or maybe even in, in humanoid. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, when it comes to, I mean, as, as you mentioned, this is kind of the space that robotics are moving into. Um, but when it comes to things like GAN devices and the way that motors are being powered, what advantages are there to the current way that, uh, uh, that you are doing things compared to the way that they would have been done, say, five or ten years ago? Um, I would say one, you're getting like more efficiency, like more power density, right, yeah, with yeah. them. So, for example, like one, you have the higher switching frequencies, which helps enable like reduction of size. Mm -hmm. So the size is one great thing. The other mm -hmm. thing is just the heat dissipation as well. So yeah. the fact that we're able to, you know, get a certain amount of output current, like with this design, 15.6 uh, amps uh, output current without any heat sink, mm -hmm. is, is is really good, right? Uh, so that's one of the great things about like utilizing this new technology versus looking at like, you know, like silicon pets or so. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's one of the things about this that I find particularly exciting in general is that you hear about the things that go into robots. Part of my job is talking about the hobby side of it quite a lot, but the industrial side of it has such smaller margins of error and there's a lot of compliance, but it's a really wonderful thing to see something that actually works out in the wild, like this Amazon Floor robot, and be able to see the technology that works all on display on here on the wall. 
Now, if you are interested in finding out more about any of the things you've seen in this video, there'll be links in the description of this video. There's a blog post accompanying it as well. You can find out everything you need to in terms of how to get started with all of this stuff. Um, and also, yeah, we'll make sure that we have some uh, nice B-roll of the robot because it's awesome. It's just off to the side of me just here. Um, but yeah, if you would like to find out more, there are links in the description. Thank you very much, Errol and Thomas, for your time today. Thank you. Pleasure.